Hey Wet Painters, it's Tenley and Kipton, and cheers to all of you who watched the season premiere of Bachelorette Season 7 following Ashley Aver's journey of love. Let's get straight into it. I have to comment on her fashion. She was wearing a gorgeous gold gown this evening that just made it perfect for her being the star of the show and um, for carrying that confidence meeting all those guys I can't imagine how nervous I would be meeting that many guys in one night um, and also I have to touch on those little crop top shirts she's got the hottest body but I'm not so crazy about those midriff uh, shirts with jeans rock them in the dance studio but Ashley can do whatever she wants that's just my thing so now it's gonna be a, uh, a long season here and so obviously on the first night we don't get to see a lot of the guys but what we'll do is we'll just kind of run through some of our thoughts on it. Uh, where do you want to start? Well, we've kind of created some awards and one of the awards that we're gonna start with is the Sweetest Moment Award. And I'm gonna be giving that to JP because of their little cupcake story and um, chemistry that they had and how they're gonna probably end up calling each other cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, JP will be quick to offload that nickname uh, from his own plate over to Ashley, I'm sure, real quick. Uh, most romantic moment. Do you have one there? Most romantic moment. Well, it's too soon to really see the romance happening, but I have a feeling that we're going to see Ben F. fall into that category yeah. on a lot of occasions week to week. So we see him a lot of episodes coming up, I think, in the previews. But he showed a lot. I was surprised yeah. how much they showed of him in future days. So we'll see if we're correct, but also uh, he, he's a winemaker, totally surrounding you know, romance, but he's also witty and they have that chemistry because of his comment on how nervous he was and how he brushed his teeth eight times that I love day. that, that was classic. So. And it was on the fly, you can't you can't really plan that, I like that. So we'll watch Ben F closely. Okay. How about um, for you, biggest blunder of the night? Oh, biggest blunder. Um, Tim, just uh, too much to drink after putting your life on hold, not a good move. It's hard to see it end that way. I think that also falls into what will normally be the most embarrassing moment category. Yeah, that's a twofer. Yeah, he drunk Tim actually got a twofer. But I also have another one for biggest splendor of the night. I think it goes to Jeff, the guy with the mask. Okay. I think he explained his his reasoning and motives behind it well to Ashley, but I don't know that America or the guys in the yeah. rest of the mansion really really understood it. So I think it didn't come off the way it, he actually intended. Yeah, but Ash is given the roses, so he uh, lives the fight another day. So I can't wait to see his face. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, How about funniest moment? Uh, well, for me, for me, the funniest moments was the collection of clips of William in the outtakes. Uh, the guy's doing a bunch of voices, but just having gone through the experience, uh, you want someone around who's gonna make it fun, who's gonna keep everyone laughing. William looks to be doing that, so I hope for that reason he stays around uh, for his sake and the other guys. Absolutely, and for Ashley, for some Absolutely. comedic relief. But I'd say the funniest moment actually goes to, I think his name is Chris D, and when he called his mom, which that's pretty crazy. Classic, that he called his mom. yeah. Um, but uh, the, what she said about the fantasy suite, so. Yeah. Uh, I know moms to do that, but you gotta be careful. So I was laughing. Um, how about most shocking? Ooh, um, I mean, any, anything surrounding Bentley. I, 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 we see it time and time again on back-to-back -back seasons of people getting warned of someone who's um, you know, gonna be the villain, obviously, and the Bachelor or Bachelorette does not heed the advice, so let's see if that plays out again. I, I feel the same way, definitely Bentley. She knows what to be looking out for, yet she kept the guy around, so. Um, now I actually have one last award for the night, the final rose, and tonight it's gonna be the first impression rose, so. Uh, Which is something she actually got on her season, so I, I, I guess this is uh, something that carries some weight. Who, who do you give it to? I actually give it to JP. She chose, okay. I think, Ryan, but I think she chose, I, I think that uh, the first rose goes to JP, Mr. Cupcake, so. That did look like a fun <laughs> conversation. It looked, it looked real, that conversation it looked, looked like, real. you know, it's hard to be loose and free on the first night he was, so. So, well earned. thank you all for watching on wetpaint.com. We'll see you next Monday and uh, looking forward to it. And in the meantime, if you want more coverage from WebPaint, you can go to facebook.com slash bachelorette fansite. See, See you guys later. next week.